Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm gonna teach you how to use the slow motion effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. And go ahead and import the files we want. Now that the file is imported, let's go and drag it onto the timeline. Alright, so this is my clip that I want to slow down. It's just pretty much a video of me scootering and <laughs> yeah, it was pretty lame. But I want to make it slow down while I'm in the air. So to do that, what we're going to do is find a frame where we want to slow, start slowing down. Just about here, before the jump. So what we're going to do is select it, go over here, and choose a blade. Or just press B. Now we're going to go and cut it, and cut where we want to end it. I want to say, I want to end it here. Just before I land. Alright, now let's go and change it back to select. Alright, so here's our clip that we want to slow down. So to do that, all we gotta do is make sure our clip is selected. Now we're gonna go and go to this retime button and go to slow. Now on slow we can change to either 50%, 25, or 10, but I'm gonna go over a nice to 25%. Alright, so that should be slowed down. Let's go and watch our clip. Alright, so that was our clip. Now, as you can tell, it was good, but it wasn't great. So, to make, it was pretty rough and shaky, but to make it even smoother, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we hold, uh, we select our clip, go back to this retime button, now scroll down to video quality. Now, under video quality, we're gonna set it to optical flow. Alright, now all we're gonna do is wait for it to render. Alright, now that it's done rendering, it should be a whole lot smoother. Let's go and check out a clip. And there we go! As you can see, that was a whole lot smoother. Alright, yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much how to slow motion the clip in Final Cut Pro 10. Make sure you cut the clip that you want slow down, retime button, choose how slow you want it, and go to video quality, set it to optical flow. And be no, uh, make sure that optical flow does take a few minutes or like a few seconds to render depending how long you cl your clip is and the quality of it. So once again, this was Brandon from Red Black Productions and if you have any tips or requests, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Laters!